Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. I am happy to see each and every one of your faces. Hopefully you're happy to see mine. Um, and, and also, I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. Whenever it is you're watching this, I hope you're having a great time. Family, friends, loved ones, whatever it is you're doing. Hopefully you're with the people that you love and you're doing what it is to make you happy. Because that's what's always most important in life is making you and your family happy. Um, now, that I got all that out of the way, oh yeah, please like, share, and subscribe, I see we jumped over, jumped over that 60 marker last night, thank you guys, that is freaking awesome, I love that, much love, I don't know why I crossed my fingers there, fingers crossed I get even more people on board, because that would be awesome, um, maybe eventually we'll get up to 100, that'll cross my fingers for that would be awesome. Now, on to today's movie. It's, uh... I don't know really how I'm going to explain this the best way and show optimism and and show joy for this one. I, um... I, lo I watched it last night. I had a really, really, really hard time watching it. And let's see. This one's from 2007. Uh, I... I, my copy says it's an hour and 40 minutes, and I saw an IMDb there listening at like an hour and 45 minutes. I, I think they may, did they mess up, or, or is there another cut out there that is longer? Um, other than that, I don't know. And then let's see, this stars Andre Alfonso, Julian Alfonso, Rodrigo Blanc Bianco. Nicholas Blanco, Luki, Lucas Delgado, Yamila Greco, Salvador Haider, Sylvia Paz, uh, and there was a, a bunch of other names in there, all, all people I don't recognize. This is the only thing I've ever seen them in. Um, but I don't, I, this is, uh, I think, what is it, Argentinian? Um, I've only seen, like, the, I saw this once before, and I had a really hard time watching it then, too. Um, and this is directed by Mariano Peralta. That is Snuff 102. Yes, this is the Massacre video release of it. It's the two-disc special edition. Um... As far as the, it's got this cover artwork here, and then it does have a reversible artwork, which is kind of really cool as well. Um, I kind of like that. I might switch over to that because that's much, much better, or much nicer, a lot more gorier looking. Uh, and then here's your special features. Got a, quite a bit of stuff on there. Um, uh, enough to have a warrant to this set, which oh, I am going to flip that over. It was enough to warrant a two disc set, so uh, somebody, a bunch of some people must have liked this. Me, not so much. Uh, I think it's a really boring movie. It's very poorly put together. Um, what is it about? Uh, well, the, there's a very, very small story there. Um, it's about a lady who is a investigative reporter and she basically is obsessed with, uh, snuff films and if they do exist and she, you know, the urban legend, legend, the urban myth of, of snuff films, <clears throat> which, you know, I mean, yeah, the idea of a snuff film, uh, I, I am, yeah, they exist out there. I've never seen one per se, but I've seen close enough to it. I've seen cartel videos. I've seen seen beheadings i've seen uh, uh shootings and executions and and drawn and quartering i've seen that kind of stuff uh the real gore stuff so so some of it does intrigue me and it makes me want to watch like i love the pseudo snuff stuff i usually like uh uh snuff from from the 70s which is you know it's a terrible movie but it is so much better than this and the the coup de gras at the end of snuff is just funny it's or not funny it's fun it's great it's awesome <coughs> sorry Still got that cold going, uh, feeling much better today than I have been. Um, 
still got a little bit of gravelly voice here it sounds like a <laughs> and you know it's also struggling a little bit on what to come up with for this film in general um because it is not uh the best film at all it is um my least favorite out of all the massacre video films that i own um they usually, I I love everything they release. I haven't gotten anything from the last like year and a half, just because I haven't haven't uh, just haven't gotten it. I do want to get the Devil. That looks really cool. That one looks like it'd be right up my alley for as far as the gore and as far as the story goes. It looks it looks awesome. Now, um, back to this one. So the investigative reporter is she's. Uh, um, Investigating snuff, blah, 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 blah. She gets kidnapped, blah, 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 blah. This sounds also like the, the beginning of, uh, what is it, Evil Dead Trap, which is a, a much better film, in my opinion. It's a very, very good film, Evil Dead Trap is. The ending is just nuts on that one. Um, the beginning, just nuts. You had a, a, an awesome, like, I. Uh, needle through the eye bit like right away within the first like five minutes of it I th think first three minutes of it it's pretty insane intense uh it does does get a little slow in places but it's still it's a a, a much better version of what somebody what i would say is similar to this for film uh somebody who's who's uh researching snuff um there's others out there. Uh, was it Musani or Musane? However, that one's pronounced. Uh, uh, that one's a good one. Um, uh, oh, there's some other ones. I'm just drawing blanks right now. Or like eight millimeter was kind of kind of a uh, snuff film. If you want to roll mainstream side, um, not really. Not really my my go to. I think that's a decent film and all. Nick Cage did an all right job. I think uh, he definitely does some really weird stuff out there. That's for sure. Um, could you guys can you guys imagine him in that Superman role? That would have just been insane. Just the footage that has released on that is just it blows my mind because it's so. The Superman suit is so weird looking and him it, with the long hair and him moving around in it is the test footage. It's just, it's wild. <laughs> uh, back to this one, back to this one. So that snuff side of things, I, you know, it's, she gets kidnapped there's two other victims that are there. Um, they're b treated through some pretty brutal, horrible things. Um, there's a pregnant lady there who... The, the most messed up thing in the movie, I thought it was, was he stomped... Well, first he beat the hell out, holy hell out of this poor girl, uh, smashing her face in with his fists, um, beat the holy hell out of her, and then he proceeded to uh, stomp on her stomach, and, and uh, you saw all the... Uh, the ambionic fluid flowing out of her with mixed with blood and all that, and he's you know stomped away. Very very brutal, disgusting um, type uh, ordeal. At one point, you see him also jamming a butcher knife in a girl's vagina. Um, but it's you know it's one of those like that's what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's what what you're intended to see is that, but it's so. <laughs> poorly executed and the degradation of the film is so bad like i understand if you want to do the degradation to your film whatever if that's what you want to do go ahead i'm not really the biggest fan of it i think it's been over high overused beyond belief um thanks a lot quentin tarantino and robert rodriguez I love your films, but really, man, you guys, you guys are the ones that screwed it up. <laughs> uh, now, um, like uh, back to what I was saying, the degradation of the film is so bad. Uh, you can barely see things. There, it's the color is so dark. Like you have to, like you want to turn the 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 brightness up on your television not the volume, the brightness up on your television all the way to the max just to see this and you're still left with a lot of um, obscured views and uh, obscured angles and just weirdness. Like, um, 
this one, it's, uh, like, the, just for his example, the punching of the girl, the pregnant woman in the face, when he would go in and hit, when it was supposed to impact, the screen would just go black. Black with each, each hit. Um, not very effective in my opinion. I thought it was really, really horribly done. Uh, this is probably one of the... Uh, uh, this movie could give... Um, it's better than uh, Green River Killer. It's not n as bad as that. But it's pretty damn bad. Like, this is Mano's Hands of Fate bad in my opinion. Um, I'm sorry for if I offend anyone who likes this film. I just, it just not is not for me. I find it very, very boring, um, predictable, uh, tries too hard to be, to be like, um, taboo breaker you know one of those th films it just it wants to be something that it's not now um as far as like any kind of ratings what on this one what i would give it uh since it's so poorly poorly executed um the with the degradation of the film the sound is just terrible everything about this is just terrible it's like a betamax transferred like you've transferred a film from betamax to vhs then you transferred it to a dvd and now you're trying to transfer it to bdr after after all of that and it's so like beaten to hell and it looks like it's been through a blender that's how crappy it looks you know and I usually don't care about that stuff, but when it obstruct, obstructs the, what I'm trying to see, how I'm trying to um, uh, put this story together, what little fragment of a story they have in here, um, it makes it very, very hard to to even comprehend it because it's so horribly executed. Uh, so this thing is getting a, a whopping one on the one to five. It is a lump of crap. Uh, as far as entertainment side goes, um, I'm only keeping this because it is a massacre video. Otherwise, I would get rid of this in a heartbeat. Uh, I hated this. This is the dumbest, biggest piece of crap uh, I've seen next to to uh, Green River Killer. Like this movie makes me mad. How 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 bad it is. Like I want to punch it in the face. You know, I want to. I don't re like really ever get so angry on uh, at films so like easily but this one really did it it was just so poorly done so in such an inferior film like i hate to be the guy that says it but i could make a better film than that you know i know much better i know way better films that come that have smaller budgets from way better directors out there that deserve more love than this this gets too much love too much respect um pass it up all day every day I, i've seen it twice i don't care to ever see it ever again if i do i'm probably gonna hate it is just as much like this one i dislike up there with uh the bunny game as well i thought the bunny game was a lump of crap as well <laughs> like this should have been done on terrible tuesday but i didn't get to it till last night damn it <laughs> because murder collection volume one is so much better than this thing everything is um now on to the t entertainment side it's getting a two um the only thing, reason it gets the two is because the the baby scene, like, I thought that was pretty brutal. Um, that was the one entertaining thing. And then he, you know, the knife in the vagina. And he also was jamming it in this girl's mouth as well. And it was, it was a little, little, little cringy. I'm not going to lie, but it wasn't enough to, to make me, uh, go, go goo goo gaga over to make it to um, make it feel like a good movie so that is a whopping three i this is bad movie guys just stay away from it if you like it i'm sorry i don't know it's bad <laughs> all right love your faces i'm getting the hell out of here bye